One of Lonnie's mentors told him, when somebody comes to meet with you, first offer them a cup of coffee. When you're getting something for someone, it invites conversation in a different way, and it puts people on a more level playing field than they might otherwise be. This is uh, June the 7th, 1997. This is the Zongo Glacier, one of the many glaciers in the tropics that's disappearing under present climate. One of the beauties of ice cores is that essentially the glacier just sits there and accumulates snow and everything that's in the atmosphere are preserved. But they're probably most well known for the recording the history of our atmosphere. It can actually contribute to so many different disciplines. They're a perfect way to analyze the climate system. July 3rd, 1997, Sama. And you can see some very large volcanic eruptions. This is about 70 meters below the surface. Uh, they had to convince people that this was a valid scientific endeavor and there was something really important to it. And they stuck to it. Lonnie does a very good job of being able to communicate science to a general public, who is really who you want to know about the science. They have been a catalyst for understanding how it is that ice sheets work in the global climate system. They also have fostered a whole generation of scientific people that work with snow and ice. We prepare students to go out, because if you're out in the out in a whiteout in Antarctica, you might start assessing what you want to do. And, um, <laughs> or reassess. Or reassess. So we actually have two objectives. One is to secure the archives. The other is to raise that next generation of young scientists, see that they get supported to do the research that's necessary. You need both. And so they have invited whole generations to move on professionally through their efforts. You know, I was fortunate enough to be one of those. That inspired me in my life, I think, to be like, it's really important to pass things forward. I have nothing but admiration for both those people. When we started, we only looked at dust. And we have added all of these different parameters now that we measure over the years as these uh, technologies develop. And I can only imagine 50 years from now what it will be possible to do if you have an archive. It would be a shame if 100 years from now there are people are raising questions that can only be answered by measurements that have to be made on an ice core. And there's no ice core because the glaciers have melted. Our goal is to have that material for the next generation. That's how science advances. <laughs>